There's something about you that just screams trustworthy, Kyle. So you know what? I am going to join your gang, but I have three requirements. Okay, the first is that you need to put head out on Jeff. I want him dead. The second, bring me Nurse Stacy and a sponge. That's only one requirement. The third is that I want you to get the tall guard to ask Barbara out on a date. Just bring her out for a nice seafood dinner and then have him never call her again. That'd be wonderful. If you could do all those things for me, then I will join your gang. All right. What's up guys and welcome back to Helping Hand. So last episode we were finally released from the ICU. We're doing a little bit better. Right? We got away from Nurse Barbara. May have accidentally joined a cult. But it happens to the best of us. Okay, everything is on the up and up. Point being, we were terminal, now we're not. All we really need to do is focus on healing, avoiding truck drivers named Jeff, and anybody who's ever heard of Chew Boy. Do you think Nurse Stacy is gonna come back? I, I miss her. I'm still holding out hope for that sponge bath. Not yeah, from sorry. you, though. <laughs> hey, Peter. I think he's in this one over here. This place is like a maze. What maze do you know that has a million freaking stairs? Oh, shit! What's the matter, Pete? Oh, my God! Look at your freaking face! Damn, kid, that truck really did a number on you! Excuse us, kid. I'm Sergeant Peter. And this here is Corporal Tony. I'd say nice to meet you, but your face is making it a bit hard. <laughs> Guys, come on, I've been through enough. I don't need this. Just take your potato-shaped Alex Jones looking self somewhere else, okay? And we're here today to ask you a few questions. On the night of the 11th of February, let's make this short and sweet, all right? I got some big bag donuts to catch. Tell me, son, were you paying attention to the road at all times whilst you were driving that night? Oh, I don't know what to do here. Like, we could tell them the truth, we could lie, we could flip them the bird, we could uh, act crazy, just giving them shockers and peace symbols and stuff like that, because we've been in general care for a while now, and we know that after this, the path diverges in three different directions. So I would imagine that my answers are gonna be pretty important. Um, I, I guess we could just start off by telling the truth. I was paying Fiona, total attention. Fiona, yeah, yeah, you Fiona, see? Fiona. Told you this was a freaking waste of time. Yeah, Shanna, Fiona, we have some reasons to believe <laughs> that you were being a bit negligent on the road. <laughs> Who would ever tell you that? <laughs> Someone, <laughs> Goff Jeff, Fiona, 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 <laughs> approached us and tried to lay down some criminal charges against you. Listen, kid, the guy Fiona, wants us to put you in the slammer, Fiona, and I'm very Fiona, open to Fiona. it. If it means it'll get the job done faster, but the boss says we need to get your side of the story down first. Do you believe that the accident was Jeff's fault? Uh, yes, yes. Screw Jeff. I hate Jeff. That's my new life motto. So that kind of behavior will not be tolerated by the two of- Alright, kid. You want to flip us the bud? I was about you try that whilst your hands are behind you. Like, no, no, I just, I meant screw Jeff. Screw, screw Jeff, not screw you guys. You'd better show that sign to all those inmates. I'm sure they're gonna love you. This is what you get for disrespecting the law. What? Oh, come on. Don't tell me that gets me killed. I meant that as a negative answer to, to Jeff. Maybe thumbs down would have been more appropriate. What? So I'm not dead? Oh my god, I actually went to prison. <laughs> Look at my arm! All right, listen up. It's roll call time. When I say your name, you shout out that you're present. I don't know if I can speak anymore. Thompson, here, I also don't know my name. Williams, here. Miller? Uh, I said Miller. Here. You deaf boy? You think you're special? You better watch it. You'll end up in solitude if you carry on that way. Ah, uh, yes. We have a new member of the family, boys. What's your name, son? What? Can I got your tongue? Oh, shoot. I forgot. You're the one that took on a truck. And lost. Let me guess. The truck won. Yeah, you, you could say that. Well, never mind that. You're gonna fit snug as a bug in here. Just remember, always be on your best behavior. Yeah, I learned that already. Otherwise, I promise you, you will regret it. We won't be as kind as that truck was to you. <laughs> and try to stay away from those silly gangs they have going on in here. Oh no. 
yeah. They think they're clever. They're as stupid as the shit on their shoes, I tell you. Now, I'll be over here by my podium. The only time you ever call me is when there's an emergency. Got it? Um, okay, how do I call you exactly? Did I get these tattoos before or after prison? Because I had a cast there, but at the same time, I, I don't know how... I guess I'm new here, right? He said that I'm going to be fitting in. I'm just concerned. Oh, it's the hospital ward. Okay, yeah, you can see the people are all beat up. So I'm still technically injured, but I'm recovering. I lost my cast. Everything is going well. Yeah, okay, I got to. Okie dokie. Good. I can tell you're going to be just fine in here. Thank you. You behave well and nothing will go wrong. Oh, and uh, the hospital has told me that they have sent over a particular nurse. Please be Stacy. Please be Stacy. Please be Stacy. Who's going to be looking after you? No! Why is it always Barbara? Oh, what? You can come speak to him now. Well, uh, I gotta go now, but I'll go check up. Yeah, you get to run away from Barbara. I don't have any choices. You just slide away there, Officer Long Legs. Oh, man. Can I put in a request for Stacy? Hey, Barb. Oh, don't look at me like that. I am just as disappointed as you are. No, 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 you are definitely not as disappointed as I am. You didn't have Stacy willing to give you a sponge bath. Rest of these dirty crooks, too? I knew I should have just let you die. On the plus side, that prison guard is quite cute, don't you think? His legs are like twice the length of his rest of his body. Anyway, you know the drill. Don't bother me. Don't call for me. And we'll get on just fine. If I get shanked, I'm going to be calling for your help because they'd be terrified of you. Little twerp. Good to see you again, Barbara. Okay, I'll see you later. Crushing your head. Yeah, don't you worry. We'll find a way to get her yet. <laughs> I have to be safe in prison, right? You can't break the law in prison. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Hello there, Orange Colonel Sanders. Hola, amigo. You must be the new guy in town. You got any hand cream on you? What is that supposed to mean? You want me to jerk something? Uh, why do you look so scared? I'm not going to hurt you. Unless you don't have any hand cream. No, I consider it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You should have seen your face. You're all right, friend. Can you speak Spanish? <laughs> um, why are you wearing a three-piece suit in prison? Bar Barbara, I'm confused. Why do I get the feeling he's going to stab me if I don't speak Spanish? Maybe we'll just agree. Yeah, I can speak Spanish. Ah, fantastico. Oh, dear. Um, mm-hmm. 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 Just nodding and smiling. I got it. Mm, yeah, keep keep talking. I just agreed to something. Excellent. This is great news. Before you join our group, there are a few things that you should know. Firstly, my name is Eduardo. I have been in prison for about two years now. I was caught embezzling money from Coffee Capital because I, uh... I needed to feed my family. They might tell you that it was for skin care and fake tans, but that's not the truth. Remember, this place is filled with thieves and liars. Anyway, my family has a good reputation with the guards. They respect us and keep their distance, and we do the same for them. If you're keen to join our family, you need to respect the guards. Also, we have a family sign. Whenever someone is bothering you or asks for your gang, just do this sign, okay? Um, that's a very interesting sign. You would think after I accidentally joined a cult, I would have learned my lesson. But at the same time, I'm just looking out for my survival, okay? Better people have killed me over less. So I think I'm just gonna put up my silly fingers and do what this orange man tells me to do. Hey, so that's the one. Now you just remember that sign. And if anyone ever bothers you, you show them that and they will run away like the little cowards that they are. Okay. You don't have to be scared anymore. Your family will always have your back. This isn't so bad. I need people to have my back in prison. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some important business matters to attend to. I'll see you around, amigo. Stay safe. Okay, uh, could we maybe like, put out a hit on a guy named Jeff? Or, or a semi-truck? Both of them? No? Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later. 
Still waiting for Stacy to walk through that door. You are equally not Stacy. Sniff. Hmm, I thought I smelled fresh blood. You must be the new kid on the block. Are, are you are you in my gang? This this gang? Well, hello there. Name's Kyle. Mind if I get a bit closer to you? Um yeah, yeah, I do. No, okay, no, don't don't get closer to me. Ah, oh, yes, that's the spirit. There's nothing like two friends getting to know each other. Oh, no, I said no, I don't mind. No, that's not what I meant. Mmm, your skin is still so soft. I bet those sponge baths they give you must be really good. I don't get sponge baths, dude. Trust me, I was hoping that you were going to be the sponge bath. Anyway, what are you in for? Did you kill someone? Um... Technically, no, but let's just say yes. Ooh, fellow murderer. Oh, this meeting just became a lot more interesting. So tell me then, how'd you kill him? Did you get him with a knife? Did you slit their throat? Did you blow the brains out? Do you spill the beans? Oh, so you don't like to kiss and tell, eh? Well, a liar and a killer is somebody I can respect. Since you're new, you might want to consider joining my gang. Is it recruitment day at the prison? <laughs> there are quite a few gangs around here, but I can tell you right now, mine's the best. We're the most nimble, agile, and resourceful that you'll ever get. If you need anything, I mean anything, we can get our hands on it for you. So what's the deal, murderer? Will you join us? Okay, technically, I'm already part of a gang, but... You can never have too many gangs, right? And I'm curious if we can get him to kill Jeff. There's something about you that just screams trustworthy, Kyle. So you know what? I am going to join your gang, but I have three requirements. Okay, the first is that you need to put head out on Jeff. I want him dead. The second, bring me Nurse Stacy and a sponge. That's only one requirement. The third is that I want you to get the tall guard to ask Barbara out on a date. Just bring her out for a nice seafood dinner and then have him never call her again. That'd be wonderful. If you could do all those things for me, then I will join your gang. All right. I knew you had the potential in you from the moment I saw your sweet, soft skin. I know you're going to fit right in. Are you going to fit right in me? I get the feeling you want to wear me with the murderers, thieves, and liars. So before you enter our gang, you should know that we use this sign whenever we address each other or other people from other gangs. Why don't you go ahead and try it out now? Okay, so it's a bit of a... Uh, oh, no. Oh, we don't want to use that one. He'd, he'd be upset with that one. Uh, it's something like this. There we go. Aha, you did it. Welcome to the gang, soft skin. I'm sure you're going to get along with the rest of us just fine. If anyone ever bothers you, you just fling them this sign, and I bet you they will run off and with their pants soaked with pee. <laughs> I swear Teddy once made the guards cry with that sign. Anyway, Softskin, I'll see you around. I better get moving before they start suspecting anything. You take care now. Okay. See you, Kyle. Thanks for the proposition. So, I have now joined a cult and two gangs. Things are going well. Oh, it's Long Legs. You want me to join your cult too? How about your prison gang? Hey there, son. Good to see you're still breathing. How you doing? Gotta check up on you before I leave my shift. Has anyone been around to bother you? Nobody's been here. Haven't seen anybody. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. You know, we normally get inmates trying to convince new guys like yourself to join their silly gangs. Are you sure nobody has tried to convince you to join their gang? Um... Oh, do I tell them the truth? I don't know. Something about the way that you tuck your shirt into your extremely long pants that screams trustworthy. So you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth, but on three conditions. The first is that you need to murder Jeff. Don't worry about it. No one will know, right? That You can't break law in prison, right? That That's a rule. I saw that on a sign on the way. And the second is that you need to bring me Nurse Stacy. Not Barbara, Nurse Stacy, bring her here with a sponge. And the third, could you maybe ask Barbara out? But she's not looking for anything serious, so like one date and then never call her again. And then, I'll, yeah, there, there have been people nearby. <laughs> oh, really now? That's interesting. Was it that creepy inmate? The one with the tattoos and the ugly teeth? Um, I mean, yeah, he technically was here. Ha, I knew it. 
Those filthy rednecks are on their last warning. Thank you for that information, inmate. We will investigate this further. You've proven to be a great asset for this prison. Take care of yourself. See you around. Um, okay. So it's times like these that I'm really happy I have a backup gang, just in case I betray one of them. Hopefully orange suit guy will protect me. Orange suit guy? Bar Barbara, you're not gonna protect me. Hi, Barbara, crushing your head. How are you still alive? <laughs> is there another nurse here that is looking after you? I thought my negligence would have killed you by now. At least she admits to it. Mumble, mumble. Could you just stop being so selfish and die already? Um, no. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before, twerp. Fuck you do. <laughs> oh, you're so boring. I wish there was something here that I could do to pass the time. Have you tried a gang? They're really open to recruitment. I don't know why they couldn't send that stupid nurse Stacy here. We're in agreement. Please go get Stacy and then take yourself out on a date and never call yourself again and murder Jeff. Please. It's all I've ever wanted. Of course, they send the oldest nurse to do the worst jobs. It's abuse, I tell you. How could they treat an old lady like that? Speaking of older people, has that prison guard come to talk to you? Listen, I'm not here to make friends. Ah, you little asshole. I don't know why I thought I could rely on you to give me an intelligent answer. You really deserve to be here. You are a danger and misfortune to society. I hope you rot here, ass bag. Whatever, twerp. I guess I'll just go speak to him by myself. Could I have, like, hooked them up? There have been, like, a little romance there? That would have been super awkward. Orange guy, please? Orange guy? Yes, there we go. Okay, I need some help. Hey, amigo, this is our chance to bust out of here. Are you ready? I know you can't walk, but you can lean on me. Behind you, orange guy. He likes skin. Come on, man, you can do it. Hey, soft skin, let's get out of here. Wait, what the f***? Why is the Latino leader here? Uh, okay, poor quest. Hey, man, back off. He chose to be with us. In what world would he choose your gang? That would be like choosing suicide. He chose our gang. Wait a minute. Hey, Dios mío, traitor. You betrayed us. You filthy liar. How could you do that to your family? I, I don't know what to say. Enough of this. Let us leave him to rot. He has done no good to either of us. Nobody can trust him now. You know what? You're right. Fuck you, soft skin. You had such potential. Cries. <laughs> Adios, gringo. Que te fole un pez. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, wait. You guys were both going to escape? Because I chose both of you, I just get to rot here? Really? I heard that he got into some kind of gang problem in jail. Really, that's terrible. Yeah, apparently he couldn't make up his mind about which gang to be loyal to. Oh dear. That sounds like they all ganged up on him in the end. Wow. Way to just piss on my grave with that pun. That was just insult to injury. Wait a minute. There's no way out of prison. Right, there are two ways into prison. But there is no path out, so would escaping be an ending to the game? I really need to go back and find out. We seem to have a bit of a problem in that I've joined the Latino gang and then politely told Kyle, no thank you, to which he replied, I'll wear your face like a mask if you say no. So I would love to be able to use my gang symbol right now, but it doesn't seem to want to do anything. So maybe a polite no again? Oh, come on, you dipshit. You're making one of the worst mistakes of your life right now. I promise you, you'll regret this until the day you die, which, spoiler alert, won't be too long now. You watch yourself, soft skin. Coming for you. Okay. What? Am I dead? I'm not dead. Okay, I can get him in trouble, right? Because he's on his last warning. So when Tall Legs comes in here and I rat him out, then I might be able to escape? I have information for you, hello. Hey there, son, good to see you're still breathing. How are you doing? Thought I'd check up on you before I leave my shift. Has anyone been around? But yes, yes, uh, people have been around. People have been bothering me. Oh, really now? That's interesting. Was it that creepy inmate, the one with the tattoos and the ugly teeth? Yes, yes, that's the one, thank you. Ha, I knew it. Those filthy rednecks are on their last warning. Thank you for this information, inmate. 
We will investigate this further. You've proven to be a great asset to this prison. You take care of yourself. I'll see you around. Okay, so you deal with that gang. Just get rid of them long enough for me to not escape with the orange suit. Maybe. We're gonna see now. I'm still holding my breath for Stacy to walk through those doors, but we get Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, I don't have time for this. Yes, I'm still alive. Please, please just have Orange Suit come in here alone. And he's gonna help me escape. Amen, it's our chance. We're busting out of here. Come on, quickly, get up. Um, well, I, I didn't join him this time, so hopefully things go a little bit better. You gotta be healed by now. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, there's my man. Quickly, before the guards come. Vamos, amigo. What about the guy behind you? The guy behind you? Why is he here? Oh, we're all escaping together. Or not. You dead, lol. Get wrecked. I tried. They even wheeled me out. Oh, man. You know what? You gotta have respect for them. I can't believe that. So, there technically was an ending? Sort of? You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Helping Hand, guys. And I've been really surprised with how well these videos are doing. You guys seem to really enjoy the game, and that's why I'm continuing to play it. People are showing so much support that I really can't resist returning to find out what all these question marks are. So if you guys are curious, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and maybe next time we won't flip off a police officer and end up killed multiple ways. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.